Good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. You join me in a very windy, very blustery Holland. And I'm aboard a really unusual, but incredibly capable, long range, 42 foot steel trawler. I just finished filming the main footage for my main channel, which is Yacht Boy. And what I wanna do now is just show you around this boat in a more informal way, just to point out some of my favorite features. Before we crack on, please don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. So let's start in the saloon. One of the features that I love is this watertight door. I mean, when you look at just how many clips there are on the door and the threshold down there, you know that you're on a boat that is made for some serious passage making. Uh, the windows as well, they're not actually double glazed, but they don't need to be because the way the windows have been sealed and designed, A, you don't get any condensation on them, but also if you take a big wave on the beam, you're not gonna get any ingress through the windows because of the way they've been reinforced into the superstructure. Uh, but over here on the port side, we've got the galley, um, open area, living space, lots of headroom in here. I'll show you around. We've got a fridge, a large fridge over here. But we do actually have some additional cold storage in the form of another fridge under here. You can also stow a lot of your dry storage in here as well. But yeah, it's a great area. Uh, you've got the dryer over there. We'll bring you back up. Under here, we have the washing machine. So yeah, I really think this is a fantastic functional layout. You know, this boat has been designed and built uh, for an owner operator couple. And that really does come across on here in terms of just how practical everything is. You know, should you decide to go out into the cockpit, even if the weather is a bit gnarly, look at the protection you get. Over there, I'm not gonna go out there because it's absolutely hammering it down, but that's the hatch that takes you down uh, into the steering gear uh, compartment. All right, let's go up into the wheelhouse. Always one of my uh, favorite features on any boat, the wheelhouse. There are lots of things stick out to me in here. Firstly, your visibility. If I pan around, you've got almost 360 degree visibility all around the boat. You know, thanks to these two windows in this raised area here. Uh, again, when you look at the watertight doors on both the port and over on the starboard side, you've got a huge threshold there. So if you are heading into some heavy seas and you're getting the waves breaking over the bow, basically the water is gonna go straight over the side of the deck there. Because if you look, you've got some steps uh, that lead up onto the stern, which is obviously a raised area. So a really great layout. I like the fact you've got some raised seating here behind the helm position as well. Uh, you don't have a helm chair in here because the owner doesn't need one because when you're gonna be doing your long distance voyaging, you're gonna be putting the boat into autopilot. And if you want to, you can sit there and enjoy the view. Uh, but there is a reinforced plate uh, in the deck. So if you did want to put a helm chair in here, then you can do. But yeah, again, really functional layout. We've got a single John Deere engine. And if you want to find out more about the engine, then make sure you check out uh, the other more detailed walkthrough on my other channel, Yacht Boy. Uh, of course, I'll leave a link to that video in the video description or pin it in the comments. I like the fact as well, we've got the skylight over here on the port side. Just gives you that additional sense of being connected to the seascape around you. But now let's go down into the engine room because this is another area that I'm sure you're gonna find very impressive. The first thing that I noticed when I came down here is obviously over here, you've got a tooling station over on the starboard side. But here we see the benefit of having that raised deck in the wheelhouse because the amount of headroom uh, you get down here. You know, I'm standing up. I'd say you've probably got about just under seven foot of headroom up here. 
Uh, over here we have the Kabola heating system. And look at the size of the fresh water tank. There's actually two tanks, one on the port side and one on the starboard side. And as you can see, if you needed to carry out a tank inspection, it would be very easy to do so. Uh, we've got a continuous rated John Deere engine. As you can see, the fittings on here are all oversized. This engine will just run and run and run. And if we go aft, Look at the size of the shaft. Uh, we've got a straight shaft that's in an oil bath. So again, I mean, you could probably turn the propeller with just one finger, uh, thanks to the fact that it's in an oil bath. Got a day tank over here. Now, obviously, you probably already know that the range on this boat, if you've seen my other video, is five around 5,000 nautical miles, which is just incredible. Uh, and that's because we've got two huge fuel tanks. Uh, we've got one over here behind that bulkhead, and we've got another one up forward in front of that bulkhead as well. So you can cross the Atlantic and then some in this boat, which for a boat that is 42 foot LOA, uh, I think is just incredible. Uh, CJC fuel polishing system on that bulkhead over there. A Sigma water cooler. Everything down here is just so functional and accessible. Obviously I can walk around the engine so I can get easy access to it for regular maintenance tasks as and when needed. I have a Fisher Panda generator over here on the port side. But yeah, one of my favorite features down here is the fact that you have this tooling station. So you've even got a little vice on here as well. Any basic maintenance that you need to do you can do it really easily uh, thanks to this space but yeah I mean it's, it's definitely one of the most impressive engine rooms that I've been on on a boat of this size as I say 42 foot LOA that is incredibly impressive but what do you think let me know in the comments uh, at the time of making this video this boat is actually listed for sale with Devault Yacht Brokers uh, if you want to find out more about the boat and obviously check out the full yacht tour so I couldn't take you outside because the weather's just too bad. But on my other video, I do have some external shots. So make sure you check that video out uh, by clicking on the link that I'll pin in the comments. If you want to find out more about this boat, again, head to the link in the video description. A huge thank you to Devault Yacht Brokers uh, for letting me come on and show you this boat and also to the owner as well. Don't forget to give the video a like. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well and make sure you stay tuned for more videos. I'm just gonna give you another closing shot of this engine room just before I finish. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.